If you really want to see people for who they truly are on the inside, start by being a little confident. So many times people will say, Andrea, I hear what you're saying and I understand that I too am guilty of some of my unconscious bias. What can I do to change it? How can I really make a difference? I'm just one person. I'm not sure what I can do. It's such a big problem in the world. And what I like to say is start by being a little bit more confident. When you enter a church, a school event, a networking event, a sporting event, maybe even just a party, and you see people that are um, different ethnicity of your own and maybe a little outside of your comfort zone, just smile and be confident. Look them in the eye, really try to get to know that person for who they are and come from a place of love. You'll be amazed at how far a smile will go. When you're in the grocery store and the young man walks in with a hood on, if you feel yourself start to clench your purse a little tighter, pause for a minute, realize you're in no apparent danger and smile. Look that boy in the eye and smile. I guarantee you he'll probably smile back and you'll realize he's just a kid in here maybe grabbing milk for his mom or grandma or maybe just getting a candy bar to go hang out with his friends. If you're confident and look people in the eye, come from a place of love, you can really wake up to some of your unconscious bias. Take control of it and change your thoughts and feelings and really see people for who they truly are.